Hey guys, a warm welcome back to the channel. Finally, I got around to putting the compilation together of the complete build, highlights and headaches of the world's only Challenge Stradali Spider. Kick back, grab one of these, enjoy. Check this out. This Ferrari 360 Challenge Stradali is actually the donor car. It's half of the project. The other half is on its way here soon, and that is a Ferrari 360 Spider. So as you can see, we have taken delivery of the other piece of the puzzle to make our Challenge Rally Spider. It is a 2003 360 Spider Classic Rosso Corsa. So we're in our 360 Spider. I'm giving it a little bit of a test drive, make sure everything's working correctly before we start to take this one apart. It's a really nice car, inside and out. It's gonna make a fantastic base. We've got a bit of a tunnel here. Let's have a listen, ready? Let's see how we get some noise. Not bad. We are creating the world's only and very unique Ferrari 360 Challenge Stradale Spider. We're gonna make something that Ferrari should have made and we're gonna try and do it as if it would have come out of the factory. First job today on the Stradale is to strip out all of the interior. That's everything that is gonna be interchangeable and is gonna go in the Spider. Seat dash, the lower console here. Everything from the Spider will then get retrimmed to match this. Next thing we are going to do is to strip out the rest of the interior. Carbon door cards, things like that, that are gonna come out of the car and go onto the spider. Now we've already taken a lot of stuff off of the silver donor car. Today the focus is going to be on this one. We're going to start that conversion. step on the build is all the bodywork. There is subtle differences between the Stradale and the Spider. Side skirts here come down a bit more square on the Stradale and they give it that more mean start. Simple as that. I might have removed all the bumps earlier. Another change between the two cars is the back bumper. Same thing, it comes down a little bit lower at the back there and it's really hard to spot, but it's all gonna get changed. Okay, so we've had a little bit of fun. We've put all the bumpers on just to get an idea of how this car is gonna to start to look. So all the Strad stuff is on this one. Next job is marking out all the central points on this rear engine lid. We've put some markings on here on little bits that we can use as reference points here. We're gonna to need to put one over here as well. Some on the front. We're gonna use the hole in the front of the hood for the badge as the front reference. So we're all good, we can start taking it apart. So the spider roof cassette all comes out as a complete hole, as you can see. Now I thought this job was gonna be an absolute nightmare. I don't know if you uh, saw the straps on that little time lapse there. I had planned on lifting this out with the engine crane but we thought we'd try some muscle and well that was successful so we lifted it took it out the door and the next job is i need to strip off these panels ready for paint i'll do that in the background uh, so we now need to get the engine out of the spider okay so we are working our way to taking the engine out on the spider so everything is labeled up here we've got the air box out the back just taking the exhaust out and the next thing is we need to take the frame out. Okay, 
Okay, let's get that last little bit out. It's taken me all day, but it is a big sense of achievement. Next job on the project is, well, we have both engines out of the car successfully. That all went very well. And you think, well, it's just simple. We will put the Stradale engine straight into the Spider. Unfortunately, like most jobs on this project, it's not that easy. That is our problematic heat exchanger. No idea if it's any good or not, how long it's gonna last, but like I said, we are being very cautious on this. For the sake of all the hassle getting down to that, we're gonna put a new one in. The new heat exchanger is now in place, had a clean up, we've got new gaskets, and now I'm gonna very quickly get the manifold back in and start to reconfigure all of the wiring. As you can see, the engine is all back together, giving it a good old clean up. Look at this, how it's come up unbelievable it's like new it's basically ready to go back in the car so we've managed to successfully shoehorn the Stradale engine into the spider actually it wasn't too bad just a little case of perseverance again and uh, just patience really just getting the right angle to get it back in there but it went in as a complete unit as you saw fire it up So a little bit more investigation, it sounds like it's this side of the engine that is causing the problem. Great success. Straight into the booth is our first batch of panels. They've already been sprayed Rosso Scooter rear. We've applied the stripe and now we are just giving it that final coat of lacquer to make these things absolutely pop. Have a look inside. See how this is coming out. Alright, so we've still got the uh, dryers on, so it's a little bit noisy in here. But look at this, it is phenomenal. I can't believe how good this looks. Well, guys, here you go. It's ready. It's going to get its coat of Rosso Scooter here. The car is fully stripped. Is gonna start to come together. This is the point where the car really, really starts to look good. The main man Gert is gonna be spraying the car. I'm gonna have to get out of here because I don't have any protective gear. So I'm gonna leave you in the capable hands of the master. Let's see how it's done. So after several coats of lacquer, the car is then sanded back and polished to a mirror finish. That is all the body and all of those individual parts. It takes a lot of time, but it is really worth it for the end result. And there you go guys, that is the stripe all finished. And as you can see, there is not a single sign of a ridge there. It looks absolutely perfect. It looks like it was painted. I guess that is the idea that Ferrari had in mind when they applied the sticker at factory and lacquered over the top. We need to get the roof mech in the car without scratching any paintwork. Great success. Door handles all in. Started putting the rubber on. All of this is in place, even the lights in place now. And the last kind of thing we need to do is just align all that before we put all the panel in place here. Yeah. We're gonna just fit this, just to see how it looks. Yeah, yeah. look at that, that's how cool. How cool is that? Oh, 
Okay, the car is pretty much back together now. Check this out. All the interior is done. Sorry about background noise, as usual. It's busy here. Everything's looking great here. Floor's looking fantastic. Seats are now in. All our center console is in the car. For all the dash, as you can see, we have full Challenge Stradali spec interior blended with Spider, and it just looks absolutely fantastic. leave this place with this awesome car i've got to say a massive thanks to these guys the team at carrot zaria who have done a phenomenal job <laughs> We have done suspension, we have done brakes, we've got new wheels on there, we've got the anti-roll bars on there, we have got the mirrors, the Stradali body kit on here, interior, we have a mixture of all of the genuine Stradali dash, the seats, the clusters, all of the carbon fiber, the subwoofer, but then we have had to mix that in with all the differences for the spider, so all of the uh, rear kind of uh, panels here that all got changed to Alcantara to match the rest of it. We've done all of the carbon door cards, all of things, little things such as the door opening devices here. All of that it was extremely difficult to change. The seals are different. We've done our custom stickers on here. So yeah, all of the brake system, the exhaust system, we have changed the rear challenge grille, all of the bumpers, the under trays here. We've had the custom carbon fiber engine grills made up just so they match perfectly with the correct weave pattern the Ferrari used. We've redone the carbon air boxes, they were really milky, but they look absolutely stunning now. Engine, obviously we have swapped the exhaust system, absolutely gone to the full extent, no expense spared on this. We've tried to do this car as Ferrari would have done it. Obviously, we have got all of the Challenge Stradale lower lipped front bumper. Makes it look so much more mean than a standard car. If Ferrari would have made this at Maranello, this is how they would have done it. Well, guys, there you go. That was almost a year of head scratching, blood, sweat, and tears, but it was absolutely worth it. We created the one-off unique car that Ferrari should have built themselves, but it was left the Rattarossa to do. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, and of course, you can check out what I get up to on a daily basis over on my socials. Until the next time, stay safe. Ciao for now.